Howdy, welcome to Fishtails. Check out my new rig. It's my birthday present. Today is actually my birthday. 55 years old. How about that? Didn't think I'd last that long. Actually, that's not true. I have genes that will probably make me live to 100. But this is a Berkeley lightning rod. I believe it's a medium fast action. Medium light. It is a fast action rod. I'm putting eight pound test Berkeley Solutions line on it. This is a 308 from Mitchell. Eight ball bearings. This is a very good reel. Whole rig's about 80 bucks. $40 for the pole and $40 for the rod. For the <laughs> $40 for the pole and $40 for the reel. This was my birthday present from my wife. Plus myself, to myself. I've got it rigged up. Let's see what kind of action it makes. Let's see what kind of fishing it can do. I like that. It did not take long on this new reel. This thing works good. Pole works good. A little bit light, but it'll be better. It'll be good as a crossover kind of rig where you're you know, fishing for bass like this and crappie and everything else. A good general purpose rod. This new rig works on crappie too. Mitchell 308 on a Berkeley lightning rod. Medium light action. Nice crappie. Nicer bass. New rig. Up there in the shallows. Get that fish off and get ready for another one. Oh, that one's a decent sized fish too. I got a whole bunch of weeds with him. Look at that fish. Good lord, that's a nice bass. <laughs> yeah, he goes dead. Oh, that's a three pounder. That's a three pound fish. Nothing wrong with that one. Boy, he didn't attack it like a three pounder, but he sure fought like one. Got down in the weeds. Made for quite a tussle. Look at what's left of my spinner bait. It's got four, five, six strands on it. <laughs> it is barely there. Still got enough. Well, that's about it, folks. I'm pretty sure we got some weather moving in, some rains moving in. I don't know. It's been so unsettled. Conditions are just all over the place fish are starting to bite and getting active but I really only came out here to test my new fishing pole birthday present it's a good one lightning rod Berkeley lightning rod with a Mitchell 308 reel on it that is a good rig I'm gonna like it that's a pretty good way to spend a day we're we'll spending a couple hours testing a birthday present. Berkeley lightning rod and a Mitchell 308. Good combination. I'll tell you what, let's get back to the house. You can see it's getting dark off to the west. Wind's coming out of the west. Southwest, and I believe that means it's gonna rain tonight. Well, we don't need more rain. Ground's wet. Pretty good spot here. Probably should have been using crappie jigs. I might have done better. I had several crappie roll it. Didn't hang on to it. I know that's what they were. I saw them. There's a cuckoo in here somewhere. Yellow-billed cuckoo. if he makes any sound here. Here's what he sounds like. Come here, mosquitoes. Get off of me. Damn mosquitoes. Oh, 
There's a cardinal. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll stop by the other lake and see if anybody's up here. Let's get back. Hmm. Get out of there. I don't hear the cuckoo now. I heard him earlier. I was thinking about going, trying to find him. You hear him all the time, but you never see him. They creep along the tree. They stay pretty tight to the tree and they look like the bark. Lots of birds. All right, let's get the road. Hit the road. Let me show you what these two rednecks are up to. <laughs> we have been clearing clearing the banks for the bank fishermen. We're taking this rope and this big pipe out about, oh, 30, 40 feet out from shore, dropping it down and then using this long rope to cut these weeds loose and drag a whole lot of them up on shore, as you can see here. But that's, on this, on this particular lake, there's not a lot of, uh, there's, it's not a lot of hydrilla. It's just this stuff that grows on the surface. And what this thing is doing is it's going up underneath it and cutting it. It's clearing. It's clearing. That stuff there is now all busted loose. Every bit of that's busted loose and floating. So we don't know what's going to happen at the moment. Got some perch beds. Look. Oh, look at the perch. Man. Bunch of them. We'll take this thing out in the water. Drag this thing out in the water and use the four wheelers to pull it back. Look, there's a pig shooter. Or I should say a hog shooter. You watch, we're gonna get out there and capture every bit of this stuff, cut it off, drag some of it to shore, but most of it doesn't. Most of it stays out there. Man, just go like this. This side, I think, is a little deeper. Maybe wrong. I don't know. Yeah, it gets deeper. You can also feel it's a gravel bottom. Yeah. Now we just get out here. My wife thinks I'm at the beer joint. So. <laughs> She doesn't watch YouTube, does she? <laughs> Holy, there's a hole. There's a hole. That's as deep as you can go. Woo, <laughs> I'm getting close to the top of my waders. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, and then all I got to do is take this end of the rope and work my way back so I capture a bunch of this stuff. I'm just dragging this rope and I'll get up underneath all this stuff and I'll step on it, keep it down low. <laughs> and it'll cut every bit of this stuff off right at the base. We don't really know what's gonna happen after that, but that's not important at this point. There's the end of my rope. All right. There's the end of my rope. Now, I'm going to walk it around here. I don't know how much I'm going to get. I'm going to have to sacrifice some. Right here, let's get it from right here. You're on your end, okay? Oh, this rascal. It's gonna, it's gonna get a bit, but I'm gonna get back out here. We're gonna get that four wheeler. Oh, he's, he's hung up. 
Got to go at an angle. <laughs> I think it's covered on this end. <laughs> Spilled your beer? <laughs> this job just became difficult. Step on it. I'm stepping on that rope right now. He's got that side. And they start pulling forward. Here it comes. Pulling forward. He's pulling forward nice and slow. I got my foot on the rope and it's starting to move. comes. See how it's knocking that stuff out of the way? Whoop, there goes fish. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we got some that time. We did. Got a bunch. Look at that. Works like a champ. It's a mechanical process instead of using chemicals. <laughs> that brought up a few fish critters come out of this stuff there's a fish in there somewhere <laughs> something ate that one Ooh. <laughs> there'd be some fish in here not many we've been finding little ones at the other lake there was tons of this tons of it man it came out by the truckload yeah, that's a lot more of that stuff. This is this is a favorable process as opposed to chemical. This is a mechanical. You rip it out of there. Until I grab a snake and then we're done. Yeah, yeah, then we're done. <laughs> this isn't intended to remove snakes. But now that stuff has been busted loose. It'll clear up. The water will clear up pretty quick. We did that down this entire side. Well, almost three quarters of the way. And that clears it out so you can fish from the bank. At least a little bit, because this stuff was getting too thick. I've been doing this about two hours, I guess. Yeah. There you go. All right, round number 10 or 12 or 13. <laughs> All right. Man, I am up to my limit. My waders. <laughs> I should have been walking on the water all this time. I didn't even yeah. <laughs> You know, this, this camera don't owe me nothing. Oh. It does not owe me a thing. I've had it over the water like this hundreds of times. And I've never dropped it. <laughs> I know. You'll fall off in a hole in the bank. Hell, I. Being uh, hand up in the air with a camera like this. Somebody hold my beard. beard. <laughs> well, it helps. It helps that I don't drink. There's the end of my rope. I'm at the end of my rope, man. One last time today.
a little more a little bit more there you go that one's on that one's on let me get back out here and step on it moving forward Charlie's holding still that may actually work better here we go here we go I can feel that rope moving underneath my feet you see it's starting to move the stuff If you baby step, you stay right on top of it. <laughs> there we go. Step on that rope again. It is really coming up. <laughs> you can't get it in gear. <laughs> Riding a rope. There we go. <laughs> Just tightening around. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's good. <laughs> Ruin your transmission. <laughs> That's good. All right. Well, that does work good. That works really good. It'll be the last one for the day. He gets to go back. Plop. Woo no, that was a little brim. Sunfish. All right. That is enough for one day. And thank my wife wanted me to go to the movie. What? And miss and this. And miss this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Just want me to go to the movies. Oh, no. But, what is you wrong know, with them women? I don't know. It's, it's my birthday, damn it. I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd say. Look at those wicked-looking clouds. Right on the edge of a cool front. And that's the advancing front. It's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow, and it's potentially a lot of rain. Pretty cool. That's quite a day. That's the way I like to spend my birthday. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. <laughs>